In this video workshop, we will review the software settings and hardware requirements for using a HDMI touchscreen with this Groove Epic Learning Center, which is useful for training and proof of concepts. Now you can use just about any HDMI monitor to display the GrooveView project that you built, from monitors to large screen TVs, even projectors with a simple HDMI input port. But when it comes to touchscreens, you need to make sure that yours is a projected capacitive touchscreen and has a USB interface for the touch control. More on that in a moment. We've got just such a monitor here in the workshop, so let's take a look at some of the software options and how to connect the monitor to the Groove Epic. From your Groove Manage home screen, click on System and then Display. Let's take each option in turn. First, you have the option to turn the HDMI port on or off totally. If you're only ever going to use the front touchscreen on the Groove Epic, then you can turn this off, but I'm going to leave it on since I'm about to connect this monitor. Next is orientation. You can set up your external monitor in landscape, which is the usual orientation, but if you have a more narrow location for your external monitor, then you can also set up Groove Epic to display either portrait left or portrait right if you need to flip the monitor for better cable management. Next is the optional mouse cursor. You can simply choose to show it or not. Now this is largely personal preference, but I find it helps the operator know where they are touching by locating the mouse pointer under their finger. Lastly, we have the screen power management options. Now this option is just for the touchscreen on the front of the Groove Epic only, not the external HDMI monitor. But while we're here, if we want to turn the front screen on or off, then you enter the timeout in minutes. If you want the front screen to be running continuously, then simply disable a power management. If you make any changes to these options on this page, don't forget to click Save up in the top corner. Now when you do, the screen driver will restart and you'll be prompted to log back in again. The last setting you need to consider is what application you want to run as soon as you log in. From your Groove Manage home screen, click on System, then Settings. Here, you can choose between launching into Groove Manage or Groove View as soon as you log in. If you're running an external screen, you probably want to launch Groove View as soon as you log in. Just select your option and click on Save. Hooking up the hardware is as simple as first connecting the USB cable to one of the two USB ports on the Groove Epic processor. Next, connect the HDMI cable. The front screen will go off and you'll be prompted to log in on the external monitor. Go ahead and log in. If you're using a monitor without touch, then simply plug in a USB keyboard to log in. So there you have it, how to configure the hardware and software options and connect your external HDMI monitor or touchscreen to the Groove Epic processor.